One of the things that we need to be able to do in the A-levels is to express your derived units in terms of their respective base units. So how, do, how exactly do we go about doing this? So, well, actually, it's quite simple. And to give you the honest answer, of course, you have to be very familiar with all your physics formulas. Let's look at an example. Okay, let's look at watts. Now, we know that watt is the unit of power. And so we have to be familiar with the fact that power is work done over time. And so, therefore, the units of watts can be expressed as the unit of work done, which is joule, over the unit of time, which is second. Now, what we need to do now is to go and see whether both of these guys are base units. Well, the second is, but joule isn't. And so, in that case, we need to break the joule down into simpler stuff. So that's where we take this work done and we realize that, hey, wait a minute, work done is force times distance. And therefore, I can express the joule in terms of the units of force, which is Newton, and the units of distance multiplied, which is meter, second. And we do the same thing. We realize that meters and seconds are base units, but the Newton isn't. And so we do the same process. We break the force down into simpler stuff. We know F equals to MA. And therefore, Newton can be expressed as the unit of mass, kilogram, times the unit of acceleration, which is meters per second squared. Okay, and of course, we still have another M here and another S down here. And lo and behold, everything here now are indeed base units. So what can be expressed in this way? Kilogram meter square S minus 3. Brilliant. Now, let's look at another example. Um, we can, of course, look at something a little bit more difficult like the ohm. Well, it doesn't get much more difficult than the ohm, actually. So um, if we look at ohm, well, ohm is the unit of resistance. There are many ways to express resistance. But what we want to do, we want to find an expression that tries to simplify stuff, right? So one thing that we know, okay, if you remember that P equals to I squared R, and therefore R can be written as power over I squared. And I like this a lot because I, of course, uh, is already a base quantity. And power, well, we've just derived power. So in fact, the ohm can be expressed as watt over ampere squared. And we've already seen that the watt can be expressed in this fashion. And therefore, expressing the ohm in its base units will be kilogram meter square S minus 3, A minus 2. 